As a product manager at LinkedIn, the first thing I do every day is to check my calendar because there are tons of meetings every day. You want to make sure that we're prepared for each meeting. So for today, my first meeting is a one-on-one with our APM intern. So I'm going to say hi to him and to introduce uh, our teams. For that, I still have one hour to go, so I'm going to complete a PRD so that I could present the PRD to him. Other than that meeting, I also have seven meetings today. And last week when we were planning quarter OKR, I kind of have 50 meetings per day. So it is pretty normal for a product manager to have so many meetings. years of work experience before so his experience is really amazing and learned a lot from him that's actually something i like about linkedin because everyone around you uh, every colleague every friend you can actually learn something from them that is the exciting part to work at linkedin and right now i still have one hour to go um, to my next meeting i'm going to use this one hour to work on another prd which is for a very major initiative for our next quarter we expect most of the metric impact from this project so i'm going to work on this prd and in this afternoon, I'm going to have a meeting with our trust team to figure out what is like the cross team collaboration. There will be some code changes, engineering work from their team. So I want to make sure that, you know, uh, this product won't be blocked. In my first rotation, I am the product manager for app activations. And if I think about app activation, there's actually three steps. The first step is to drive more users to the app. Because if you think about the whole internet industry that we move from the laptop, move from the computer to the mobile uh, devices, People have more user stickiness on mobiles. People spend more time on their phones. And if you drive more users to the app, the retention will be larger. So that is the first step that I'm going to think about, which is to drive more users to the app. That probably include app themselves on mobile web, web, all those like maybe external partnerships trying to drive more people. And the second step, if you think about app activation, is to reduce the locking and sign up friction on the app. So that when users land on the app, it will be more convenient for them to log in or sign up. And if I have any initiatives in this area, there will be a lot of collaborations with the trust team, with security team, with legal team, because this is the stuff that a lot of hackers who want to take advantage of you. So we want to make sure that our solution is secure enough to still keep LinkedIn's first trustworthy social media reputation. And the third step, if you think about uh, app activation, is to call back the logout or deactivated users. And the most important initiative that we're going to work on next quarter is to to reduce the login and sign up friction and I want to go through this project with the trust team to make sure that they understand the engineering effort that they need to spend in the next quarter in order to unblock this product. I'm going to work on the PRD in the next one hour and also have some prototypes for them to help them understand the whole user journey. Our next meeting is our sprint planning meeting with the engineering team and I will always be there to make sure that you know what they're doing, if they have enough work to do, and if they have too much work to do, you know, to understand their uh, sprint better. Uh, for our team, one sprint is one week. So we do sprint planning every Monday. Okay. I just completed all the meetings in the morning, and right now I have 15 minutes left to our APM All Hands meeting. This is a bi-weekly meeting we have for all the APMs and today I will host the meeting because I invited a guest speaker, Alu, who is a mentor and also group PM leading our LinkedIn China business. And she will be sharing her learnings and experiences working on LinkedIn China. Yesterday on Sunday evening, uh, she shared me the slides for today's session and I am so excited and so looking forward to it because I think it is very informative, very helpful for APMs. How a product manager react and explore when the company or the business strategy change frequently because of the policies. I'm going to quickly prepare some lunch. Normally, if I am in the office, I will have lunch with my colleagues and maybe explore different kitchens at LinkedIn. If you have heard of it, LinkedIn's kitchen is very, very famous for its ridiculously good food. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I see. Oh, wow. That's why I didn't recognize you guys. <laughs> I was like, oh. 
We just finished our APM All Hands with Bao Lu. She is fantastic. She shared three stories about her inspiration for LinkedIn China and Chinese market and all the like uncertainties and challenges we face and how we solve those problems. Some of the stories are success stories and some of them aren't. And she shared learnings about why they work or not. I have 20 minutes to my next meeting. My next meeting is a cross team collaboration with the trust team, the one that I prepared this morning. And after that, I was supposed to have a meeting with an external partner, uh, but right now it was rescheduled. Uh, as a growth product manager, you've got a lot of meetings with partners, like with other companies. You kind of like half BD, uh, which is business involvement, and half product manager. You got to uh, fit into a role and switch roles uh, frequently. And after that, I have my mama with the accessibility program manager. As a company owned by Microsoft, accessibility is something that we pay a lot of attention to. And we're going to make sure that we, you know, confirm the timeline and talk about the expectations. And after that, I'm going to have my mama with my designer talk about some work uh, that she is going to work on. Because right now it is already the beginning of June and we have no more than one month till next quarter so I want to make sure that we get all our designs of the major products ready before next quarter in order not to block uh, our engineers and after that I have a one one with one of our engineers and he is taking on uh, one of my projects so most of the meetings will be back to back um, so I'm going to see you guys after all these meetings and I sent uh, the PRD and the chat but I've seen all of you guys uh, on the experience before so <laughs> Most of you guys already have the answers. This is really a topic only girls pay attention to. I, I attended a lot of meetings today and only girls told me like you did a haircut. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. <laughs> uh, it's anytime I meet a product manager, there's not one around. It's anytime I'm like, leave me alone, suddenly the product managers are there. <laughs> Hi guys, I just finished another five meetings. Right now, I'm going to work on uh, some of the documents because today I already finished two PRDs and I was about to finish another uh, user tutorial on the help center at LinkedIn. I was half done for that uh, document, I'm going to complete that today. And apart from that, um, it is because of our team schedule and also the whole org schedule. By org, I mean uh, consumer growth as an org. Because we have the growth org lease weekly meeting on Wednesday, uh, all, of the, all of the businesses, all of the small groups will have their weekly lease meeting on Tuesday. What I mean by weekly lease meeting is basically looking at the metrics, how the metric move, whether we hit the target, whether we miss the target, whether it is under expectation, and for product manager and other cross-functional partners, what are the updates we have uh, in the past week. Um, so for example, as a product manager for app applications, I have my marketing partners and BD partners. So I will also check all of the experiments reports that I'm currently running today and that would probably take me another hour to do so so that I will be prepared for tomorrow's release meeting for tomorrow's update and Wednesday's update. A lot of students or aspiring product managers ask me what do I do on a daily basis as a growth product manager or as a consumer growth product manager or a consumer a product, product manager. Uh, I always say that experimenting, experimenting, and learning from your data, learning from the results, and experimenting more. It will take me hours per week to check out our experiment reports and get insights from data and make product decisions uh, moving forward. And for app activations, because we're dealing with guests and part of the member experience, so sometimes our experiment results cannot be seen on the experiment reports uh, on our internal tool, which means that we need to write SQL to uh, manually analyze the data results.
Okay. 